I'm Joy Lofthouse, I'm 94 years old, and during the war, I flew with the Air Transport Auxiliary. Well, to, to uh, I think to my age, it was rather an exciting feeling, you know. Oh, you know, something we didn't appreciate what war was, but it was something interesting happening in our life when you lived in a very sort of a mundane, <laughs> a day-to-day -day experience in Gloucestershire, you know. So uh, it was it was quite an exciting feeling that to be at war. We didn't appreciate what it was at the time, of course. It said in the magazine that uh, uh, ATA were recruiting, you know, uh, people of, um, uh, who hadn't flown before and uh, what they called ab initio and uh, so I applied and I got in, and my sister did too. Flying's easy, it's the takeoff and landing that's important, you know. That's when you can make the most, anybody can fly. My um, sister broke a Spitfire uh, landing. She um, held off too high or something, and uh, when she landed, one of the tires burst, and we did what, what we, we, she did a sort of a, a corkscrew, you know, and broke broke the <laughs> broke the Spitfire. But all she broke was a, a uh, she said a fingernail of herself. She she didn't hurt herself very too much. You can imagine forty girls were all there and and uh, uh, the Polish girls talking Polish in one corner, and uh, it was where I learned to play bridge, you know, we tried to play bridge, and some people tried to write, and then the, um, the weather would clear, and the hatch would open, you know, and uh, they would hand out the, we call them chitties, which are the little bits of paper that say, and we would all look and say, oh, what have you got? Where are you going? We knew it was within our, you know, they wouldn't give me a Lancaster bomber. They knew it was within our range, but it could still be like any fighter. So you, 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 you were interested in sort of where you're going and uh, what you're doing and who you're linking up with. But we certainly got it equal pay. Um, I don't know whether Pauline insisted on it. Pauline Gower, you know, who was our big wheel, our CEO. I don't know whether she insisted on it but um, we certainly got paid exactly the same as the men. But it hasn't lasted, has it? We weren't too far away from the Battle of Britain, and it was the be-all and end-all, you know, to be able to fly the Spitfire. And this was what we, what we wanted. What's it like in a Spitfire? It's quite the most powerful thing you ever flew. You feel as though you've sort of been kicked up by the, the behind by something, you know. It's very, yes, I think the first time you fly it, you don't realize how powerful it's going to be, you know. You do as they tell you, you know, open up carefully and, uh, you know, watch for the swing and that, and, and you just do it, I don't know. You ask me all these questions, but I was young, you know. Uh, Everything is okay when you're young, isn't it? Everything is possible. I went to shut the canopy and it flew away in my hand. And uh, so I landed and uh, said to them, you know, and I, I suppose they thought, stupid woman, she pulled the wrong thing. But when they looked in the logbook, and you have a log book, just the same as you would in a car, and it said canopy trouble, canopy trouble. So they realised that it wasn't just this stupid woman, that uh, they hadn't fixed it properly. So that was that little story. <laughs> the war ended and we all went back to being housewives. 
and nobody, nobody wanted to know what you did during the war. I think it was only quite recently my daughter said, well, uh, she didn't know what I did in the war, you know, until people started interviewing me about it. You don't... Uh, the men are always talk, you know, the men are asked what they did in the war, but the ladies aren't asked so much, are they? What did you do in the war, Mum? Let's face it, all women did something, you know. They couldn't all do something as exciting as I did, but all women did something in the war. Try anything, because it might work. You can only fail, can't you? But if you don't try, you, you, you'll never succeed anyway. So try anything and if you fail, well, so be it. Just accept it. <laughs>